well, the big day arrived for Graham's Blurio, which we started, well, he started building that, in, God, it was 2014, I think. Beautiful kit, absolutely beautiful. The fittings are just marvellous, and it really is a museum piece. Anyway, the first day we were good to go. Damien flew up from Lilydale in his Eurofox with a with a quadcopter to record a bit of footage. Unfortunately, we had a few little teething problems, but we ran the engine and also range checked the radio and did all that sort of stuff. And we, Damien flew home. We packed up for another day. Anyway, next time we uh, came down to something a bit quicker. We bought his Mavic 2 drone, and we were invited to fly off a, a, a private airstrip. So thank you very much. That's Damien's Kristen Eagle. He's also got a half-scale one in the model. So well, they're good to go. It's Russ Keep and Graham Goodson in attendance. And there's the pilot that flew in Dad's Eindecker in uh, the 2006 foot scale world champs. Anyway, we're rolling. So she's away. At this stage, I've got full up elevator in it and it's just climbing. So I reached over to reach down to wind on some trim and you'll see a dip here. And so I remembered, ah, Graham likes cross trims. So it dipped up, built up a bit more speed, which was good. And I made the turn. And I can report, well, post-flight, that it does go faster than 75 kph because that's the top speed of the Mavic, which we began to outrun it here. Anyway, climbing away, I just did a couple of quick turns and then tried it on rudder. And it, obviously, when you get slow, it's really rudder is what you're using, not so much the, the wing warping. And that's got a 20% Alvin rudder mix, or wing warping rudder mix, I should say. Engine coughed a few times, so I thought, well, if the engine stops in this thing, it's going to be all over, you get one go. So, just made one more turn and then set up for landing. And I, I shot a long final, and just holding full up elevator with full up trim. Just set the descent on throttle, and just before it touched down, I opened the throttle a bit more, just mistimed it slightly. She bounced a few times, so I pulled it back to idle. And a uh, bit of a swing, but anyway, she's down. It's got an 18.6X or 3D prop on it, which is just way under propped for it. So I'm thinking something with a 7 in 10 or something is my gut feeling. So we'll get around to doing that another day. There's a few more little adjustments to be made. We're going to move the centre of gravity back. It's in a recommended position, but it's it's it can go back another half an inch, I think. Anyway, thanks to everyone involved. Um, Graham for building it, of course, and giving me the privilege of flying it. And Russ Keep for all his work on seeing the project through, and Damo for coming up twice with the drone. So we're going to shoot uh, a bit more drone footage once it's uh, the whole thing's a going concern. Beautiful engines, those Satos. Runs like a top. Damien had to leave for the day. We made a couple more adjustments. We increased negative out pitch on incidents on the tailplane to reduce the elevator throw, and I increased the throw a bit. Here goes Damon and his Christian Eagle. It's also got a half scale model on which flies beautiful. Looks exactly the same. So we had one more flight on the Blurio and uh, that was good. The engine actually quit this time so I managed to dead stick it in. And uh, Then I had a fly of Dad's old F5B model from the World Champs in Poland. Then I flew Graham's Espadetta and Muller models. Man is that a thing. What a hoot of a machine that is. Graham had a fly of his Kingfisher. Just before, Russ Keep had a fly of his Super Cub. I also test flew my new Super Easy. So all in all, a very good day. Congratulations to Graham and to all concerned. And we'll be, next time we come back, Damien will uh, fly the uh, FPV a bit closer through the goggles rather than just line of sight. And uh, we'll do another video on it. And uh, yeah, marvellous machine. It's got 320 bolts in that that aft end it's uh, quite a lot of Loctite involved but a beautiful kit absolutely beautiful a few little nickels which we'll cover in RCM News magazine issue number 160